Hi, my name is Pierre Leclerc, winemaker at Grain Bank in Robertson, South Africa. And today I'd like to showcase two different Cup Classics in our portfolio. First of all, our Brut Non Vintage, which is a aperitif style non vintage made from Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. And then after that, we'll talk about our Blanc de Blanc 2015, which is 100% Chardonnay from our estate here in Robertson. So, first up would be our non vintage brute. Um, it's a Cup Classique, which has been our mainstay since the inception of Grand Beck Wines in 1991. And to this day, we try and make this as a continuous and consistent style of Cup Classique. We always aim for a blend of 50% Pinot Noir, 50% Chardonnay. However, we don't make a household brand of cool drinks and buy recipes. So on the back of the, the label, you might sometimes see the, the percentages. And the specific one I'm facing with you today is made up of 51% Chardonnay and 49% Pinot Noir. When we produce this Cap Classique uh, during our classification tasting of the base wines at the end of every year's harvest, uh, we try and blend together very co expressive Chardonnay components with quite neutral Pinot Noir portions. Therefore, the Chardonnay is the prevalent aromatic profile of this blend and you will pick up quite a lot of apricots, fresh citrus, some apple and pear notes. And then on the palate, the Pinot Noir really is there just to play a support role and bring in a bit of red fruit on the mid palate to, to build out and flashen out the, the palate of the wine. It might be an aperitif style Cap Classique, but we never want it to be singular and one dimensional. And therefore we, we leave uh, the wine in the bottle after the secondary fermentation for at least 15 months, which adds a bit of complexity uh, to the style. Um, we're also going to quickly touch on what does non-vintage mean. Uh, we get asked that question quite often and it very simply means it doesn't get made from a singular vintages, grapes or wines. It can be blended from many different vintages and in our case we use a perpetual reserve, um, simply meaning that it's a wine where every vintage we bring in a little bit of the current vintage and we exchange it with that reserve wine and that bit of the reserve wine gets blended into the current vintage and therefore we have a continuation of the style. The second cup that I'm going to talk about today is our Blanc de Blanc 2015. This is a cup that we produce solely from the grapes produced on our farm here in Robertson and we do that because we believe that Robertson is a unique valley for the production of Chardonnay due to the high instances of limestone and calcareous deposits in our soils, as well as the massive diurnal shifts. A lot of people see Robertson as a warm climate region, um, and we do indeed have some pretty warm days, but that never lasts for longer than two to three hours. And uh, that same night, the temperature would fall down uh, to about 15 to 20 degrees less than the, the maximum daytime temperature. That just means the vine gets a lot of extra time to, to recuperate after the day's heat, after the stress, and therefore it retains its acidity and uh, maintain a low pH, which is brilliant for the production of Cap Classic, especially in Blanc de Blanc style. At Cranbeck, we also don't believe in using any malolactic fermentation. Uh, we don't want to lose any of our natural acidity and then have to reacidify afterwards. So the, the natural acidity is very important for us to, to retain in our Cap Classics. Our Blanc de Blanc is much more uh, textural, much more complex and creamy uh, a style than our Brut Non Vintage would be. So if you're looking for something easy drinking, that would be our Brut Non Vintage. When we want something that's a little bit more complex, um, something that would probably go and be um, paired with a dish, and that would be our Blanc de Blanc. So the 2015 was a spectacular vintage, uh, one of my favorites since I've joined the team. And we just have an immaculate balance in this uh, Cap Classic. Normally we would strive for about five and a half to six and a half grams per liter of sugar to find the perfect balance in this um, Blanc de Blanc. 
And in the 2015, we didn't need to go anywhere near that high. We could find a perfect balance at about three and a half grams. So this could also possibly have been called a um, extra brut, but we don't want to confuse the facts too much. So we stick with brut. Um, and the 2015 was a cup classic that spent minimum four years on the lease. We do do about two to three different disgorgements out of each patch. We also put the date on the back of the label, the date of disgorgement, so it's very easy to find out exactly how long it has spent on the lease. This one being disgorged in May 2019, so it was almost five years on the lease. We do ferment 50% of the base one for this cup classic in pure champenoise barrels at an average age of about 10 years. So the idea is not to bring in roasty, toasty, new oak flavors, but much rather to impart a lot of complexity and um, creamy texture to the palate. So on the nose, you have typical Chardonnay aromatics of apricots, peach, ripe lemons, a bit of limes. And then that slight toastiness uh, from uh, toasted nuts from, uh, from the barrel maturation and beautiful yeasty aromatics due to the, the four years spent on the lease in the bottle. The balance between the acidity and the sucrosity of this Capricic is just absolutely beautiful. And uh, I would like to to uh, challenge you to go and find this wine. Uh, you won't find it in every supermarket, but uh, your specialist wine stores will be carrying this and it really is a fantastic treat for that special occasion if you find the right moment to celebrate. Right now we're celebrating a lot of family time and uh, just getting back to to what we really are about and pushing the reset button and we like to celebrate what really matters to us which is the love of our families hope you enjoy this have a great time bye